Hello there, this is Mikhail or Michael speaking. Today is Tuesday, February 28th, 2023, and I have a map update for you. Let's jump straight to it. The Russians are attacking in their continuous attempt to encircle Bakhmut, and this was situation yesterday, and this is the situation today. As you can see, Russia had achieved more gains north of Bakhmut. Also, Russians are pushing in the city itself. I want to go a few days back in time to see how this maneuver had happened. So on 25th of February, you can see that Russian had punched through on the railroad and had advanced along it for some time until they reached the top of the hill right here. After that, they widened their front to secure their flanks and establish strong positions on the hill. Also completely capturing Yehidne and a small sector north of Bakhmut. There was, and I'm saying was, there was a damp right here, which Ukrainians blew up, which flooded this overall area. This did stop Russians for some time, but overall you can see that Russians had been able to gain more lands. It is obvious that this operation is to first operationally encircle Bakhmut and then encircle it completely. You can see that as of today, Russians had came extremely close to the road. It is only 738 meters. So uh, even AK can shoot at this range. Not accurately, but overall, if there are any troops passing by and Russians are holding this position right here, they can easily shoot whatever is going on this road. So now if Ukrainians want to retreat, they won't be able to use this road at all. So even if an infantry cannot pass, a tanks cannot pass at all. The gray area here is shown to be claimed Russian territory. As you can see by the gray area, Russians had come close to this road right here. Uh, if that's the case, then this is even more terrible for Ukrainian defenders. Also, Russians are about to capture Dubovo Vasilivka, but then again, some reports are saying that Russians had captured Dubovo Vasilivka and for some time now. So Russians are continuing their attack in general direction here. There are some settlements that can be used by Ukrainian army to defend and stop Russian attacks. But overall, this will not save the dire situation of Bakhmut. Russians can freely attack along this railroad and establish their defensive positions along these forest lines. And if that were to happen, Bakhmut will surely be encircled fully. Because if you can see the topography map, this is a hill. If Russia were to gain control over the hill, they would not only cut off this road, but control this road right here and the whole city. Also, they would overlook Ivanovsky village, which can help attack it from both directions. Or Russians can attack it from this side and support from this side. So here we can see a clear and extremely probable pincer maneuver. There are reports that Ukrainians are pulling out soldiers. If Russia were able to encircle Bakhmut, a lot of Ukrainians can end up in encirclement. And we can only speculate whether they're going to give up immediately or fight to the last man. As you can see, Russians are attacking south of Bakhmut. But the biggest changes is happening here in the east side of Bakhmut, uh, on the east side of Bakhmutka River. We can see that Russians had gained more and more territory. This can mean that Ukrainians are completely retreating from the eastern side on the west side of the Bakhmutka River. As you can see by the gray area, again, it is probably claimed Russian territory. Russians had established a new line along the river. So this whole territory is in Russian control. A lot of people are reporting it, but this map shows that Russians are almost took control of this part of the city. So in conclusion, after what, four months of hard battles, the fate of Bakhmut has finally been sealed. Again, Ukrainians are talking about some counteroffensives. Some of them are speculating that the counteroffensive will happen uh, somewhere towards uh, Paraskavivka or Birihivka. Some saying that from Chasif Yar to this uh, region right here. But again, this sector is not as dangerous to Bakhmut as this sector. And this is where Russians are achieving their biggest successes. And if Ukrainians want to stop Russians in order to buy time, they need to attack here. Hey. If you enjoyed my content so far, please consider liking, subscribing and commenting as it is good for YouTube algorithms. 
Thank you in advance and let's continue on. Russians are attacking from this direction towards Biloharivka as well as Russians are attacking towards these settlements right here. However, Ukrainians are standing strong and defending successfully. Russians are unable to capture any of the villages on the path of Seversk town. So there are no changes on the map. Same with Liman. Russians are attacking all over this long front line in attempt to capture this uh, settlements right here and reach the river line. But again, no changes. So that is that. There are no changes in Avdiivka front. Russians had stopped attacking towards Krasnoharivka. I assume they were stopped by Ukrainian defense and attacking north of it in this general direction, probably towards Nova Kalinova right here. And again, here is the railroad and other road systems. So maybe they are attacking in general direction here to once again operationally encircle the town and make Ukrainians leave. I guess they can use the Bakhmut experience and will stop attack cities head on. Also Russians are attacking from Aputne and from Vadiane, but as you can see there are no changes on the map and no changes towards the Veliske village. We can say that Ukrainians were successful at repelling Russian attacks on these axes. Marinka too didn't see any changes. Russians are continuing their attack towards Pobeda village and in attempt to encircle Marinka, but overall Ukrainians are holding strong. There are reports coming in about Russian attacks at Vuglidar, however there are no changes on the map. Russians are trying to regain initiative on this front, they are fighting with Ukrainians in these Dacia's areas and bombarding the Vuglidar itself. And at last there are no changes at the direction of Arikhiv. Again, Russians are attacking in overall direction of Novodanilovka and Arikhiv, but we can say that Ukrainians have successfully repelled their attacks. So this is the end of the video. Thank you anyone who had waited until the end. This is very good for algorithms. And overall, you were the best. Hope you have a good day and always remember, Russia will be free.